Sunday, Igbo releases New Year message. Thanks, Buhari government, to do its job, protect Nigerians. The Department of State Services (DSS) had on July 1st raided the residence of the activists in the Badon or your state. Hello, guys. You are welcome to the news. Yoruba Nation activist Sunday Adeyomo, popularly known as Sunday Igbo, says he is not at war with the President Muhammad Buhari, the state governors, or any government official. Igbo disclosed this in his 2022 New Year message, signed by one of his lawyers in Nigeria, P. Lumi Olajibisi. The activist said, everyone living in the country deserves to be protected regardless of their tribe, religion, or political learnings. The message reads, let it be abundantly clear that I am not at war with President Buhari, the state governors, or anybody in government. What I want the government to do is address the genesis of my agitation for Yoruba nation. The genesis is the insecurity in Ibarampa land and other places in the southwest where farmers are amid, hacked to death, kidnapped and raped as if there are no security agents in the country. Everybody deserves to be protected and asked to feel safe in their country, regardless of their tribe, their religion, or political learnings. At some point, our people became helpless and could no longer go to their farmlands again. Scores of farmers were butchered for death in 2021, and the government pretended that all was okay. No, this must not continue, and this was why I rose to stop the menace. I did not speak up to fight government. I spoke up to ensure the protection of my people and land. In 2022, the government must rise up and put an end to the havoc caused by herdsmen that are criminals and give everyone a sense of belonging, whether foreigners or locals and stop the attack on my people in Yoruba land. I am not selfish, and this is, has never been about me. I am more concerned about the helpless citizens who buried their loved ones to harmless killings in 2021, and I pray that the Almighty God, through divine intervention, stops the killings of innocent people in Nigeria in 2022 and beyond. In 2022, it would indeed be to my greatest satisfaction to see my people live within fear and without fear and with the confidence that their lives matter if no place is done in their homes lands and farms this is my abiding hope for my people so help me god for over five months the 49 years old agitator has been in detention in neighboring Benin Republic since his arrest. Around 8 p.m. in July 19, 2021, at airport in Cotonou, the, court, the appear in the Cotonou since the arrangement of Igbo on July 27, 2021, has not sat fueling speculations that the detention of Igbo is laced with political undertones. The Department of State Services, DSS, had on July 1st raided the residence of the activist in Ibadan, on your state. Igbo had planned to attend a Yoruba Nation rally in Lagos before the raid. The DSS raided the residence, killing two people and arresting 12 eight, but Igbo escaped. The agency alleged that Igbo was stockpiling weapons and subsequently declared him wanted, but he has since denied the allegations. Well, he just, honestly, this really breaks my heart, even as he's, in, he's still in the uh, course study in a uh, Republic. Uh, well, how do I put it? It's, even as he's still in the prison in the uh, Republic, he's still talking about his people. 
Is he talking about? Is he thinking about his people? This is how you know heroes. I know some people will come and say, who's saying deep? Who, who tell you make you go, go talk? And if you not talk, who go talk? Because this is our problem. So many persons want to talk, but they are free. They are afraid to talk. But somebody have to talk. You understand? Some persons will say you are a criminal, this and this and that. The question will be say, what thing you do? You understand? Worry must do the job is paid for. Enough of all this nepotism, tribalism, and one-sided killings on the Yoruba soil. God bless you, Sunday, Adeyomo. You boo for your bravery and love for the poor, suffering Yoruba. You opened our eyes to many things. Your bravery averted the innocent killings of our poor fathers, children, and mothers on their farms and burning of their properties by the Jagawid kingsmen. You stood your ground for the poor Yorubas against the terrorist attacks when the so-called unproductive, useless, educated, illiterate, <laughs> political, obers and elites abandoned the people. We shall forever be grateful for your love. Long life, my brother. Igbo, Baba, people have been thinking about the information that you can't talk against Bari uh, government again. Sometimes I wonder, seeing people laughing because this man is in detention, thinking maybe Buari is all powerful because he's using state power. Igbo is a great man. He has done what Buari cannot do before 2015 and come 20. 23 after office. Buhari, Buhari, how many times did I call you? A patriotic and prominent Nigerian said you should do more to protect on Nigerians. Okay, these are reactions by some Nigerians. The truth is that the government, they should do their job. They are being paid for. Enough of all these killings. He just said the truth. The man is not even talking about himself. He's still talking about his people. I am saying this again. This is how you know true heroes. People who actually cares about their people. We are afraid of our, so many of our politicians today because they go come, they go talk another thing. When they don't go, they finish. Everything when they don't talk, they don't forget them. Nigerians are suffering, honestly speaking. In the hands of bandits, Woko Haram, Fulani Hezmen, and this new one called Unknown Gunmen. How are we going to end this? This is the question. Bwari has said that it's going to end uh, insecurity, according to Femi Additional, in 17 months. And we are asking this question how are they going to do it? For six years, you cannot do anything. Just one year plus, now you won't do something. We sit down and look, make we see what they go feed do. Guys, I'm dropping it here. What's your take? Consigning this news, kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.